Hi everyone, this is Vi from Sparkling Faces and today I'm going to be doing a design for you. It's from the I Wonder How series and I'm going to be using the orange and yellow split from the Wonder palette. Um, I'm going to be doing this mask right here. It's actually a skull on fire. So um, it's a really good boy design and you know boy designs are kind of hard to come up with so I think it looks really good and if you would like to learn how to do this design please stay tuned and watch the tutorial alright so the first thing I'm gonna do is take a sponge and um, wet my white paint I'm just gonna get a, a little bit on there I don't want it too thick but I don't want it too thin so what we're gonna do is do the bottom of the skull mask first and you're just going to start right here on your cheek okay, and you're going to kind of just dab it on the um, cheekbones it doesn't have to be too perfect and then once you get to the apples of the cheek you're going to head downward and you're going to fill in the upper lip as well Now, the trick when using Wolf or Diamond Effects as a base is not to put on your colors too thick because the thicker you put it on, the more uncomfortable it is for the wearer. So you want to try not to get it on there too thick. So there you have the bottom of the skull and the next thing I'm going to do is wet the other side of my sponge and I'm just going to spray some water on it and I'm going to get some of my red from the Wonder palette. I'm just loading the red by itself. Okay, and we're going to go in the eye area. Okay, just like that. And it doesn't have to be too neat. And with whatever you have left, you can kind of just put it on the top portion of the skull that you did. You don't want to bring it down the face too much. Just this top portion. You can bring it up into the forehead if you want. It'll just add a little extra to the background. So now what I'm going to do is load my 3 4 inch brush with the orange and yellow split. Now, what we're going to do is make a series of flames on the face. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to try your best to get it as close to what I'm doing as you can. Um, if you mess up, it's okay. We're going to outline everything anyways, so it doesn't really matter that much. But what you're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is start in the middle of the face. And I'm starting with the orange on top. And I'm just going to swirl back and forth. And then as I reach the top of my head, I'm going to pick, make my brush straight so that it comes to a ni nice point like that. And then I'm going to move right next to it and then repeat the same process again. Now the other thing you want to keep in mind is that you don't want all of your flames to be the same size. So you want some little ones and then some bigger ones. I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side. Okay. 
Okay, so now that we have most of the top of the skull complete, we're going to work on bringing the flames downward on the face. So what you do is put your brush back on the flame that you want to pull down in the same um, color combination. So like this one, I had the orange on top. I'm going to keep the orange on top and I'm just going to pull it downward just a little bit. Like so, and then I think I flipped this one. I'm just going to pull it down just a little bit. Okay, now after that, you're going to repeat the same process that you did on the top on the bottom right here. Um, now because there's not as much room, you're not going to have as many bold flames, but it's okay. So I'm just going to start right here on the nose and pick up. And I actually, I'm going to make some of the top flames bigger. So now what we're going to do is load our brush with the red from the Wonder Palette. And I'm using a number two round, just loading it really, really well. You want to try not to get any of that white in it so that it doesn't turn pink and turn your flames pink. So just be careful with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my flames in red. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start at the tip. I'm going to bring it down and outline it in red. Okay, and I'm going to pull it down on the other side as well. And then what you do from here is you want to kind of pull that line into the orange color. too much right there but okay and repeat on the next flame This one go the other way. Okay, so you have something like this. You're just going to repeat on the rest of your flames. So now you have something like this, and it looks pretty cool, but what we're going to do is go in with black and we're just going to put some accents and outline our design. And I'm using a number two round. And the first thing I'm going to do is add my nose in and I'm just going to lay my brush down and then wiggle and then pull upwards. I'm going to do that on both sides. actually went in and add little spaces in it as well. I think that looks pretty cool. And then we're going to outline um, just a few of the flames. And actually you want your brush pretty dry 
when you do this so that you don't have a huge glop of black on your flames. And you're not going to do all the flames, just a few of them. So I'm going to do that one. It's kind of hard to do this on yourself. Okay, so now you're going to outline your skull. Okay, and for this skull, I'm going to actually add black teeth to it because I already have black on my brush and there's already black in the design and I put a white base down. So let me load my brush really, really well. And all I'm gonna do is uh, lay my brush down to make the teeth. Okay, so for the final step with the teeth, what I'm going to do is go um, on each little design that I made. I'm going to flick upwards just a little bit. Uh, it kind of makes it look like little roots. So the last thing I'm going to do on this design is outline the eye area and I'm outlining just right underneath my brows and I'm going to try to go higher on the outside just a little bit and lower on the inside. And what I'm going to do is once I get to the inner corners of my eyes, I'm just going to press down and flip up. Okay, so you have something like that. So it kind of looks like the skull is angry. And then you are all done. I hope you like the design. Please stay tuned for more tutorials, and I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. I hope you liked the... And then you are all... And then you are all...